Hello, this is Divine Honesty, and I'm back with another reading today. I will be reading for Aquarius. Okay, this reading is a general reading. If it resonates, great. If it does not, look up your moon or rising sign. Take what's beneficial and leave the rest. The first five cards are going to represent your initial energy for the upcoming weeks to the upcoming month. Okay. In the first card, we have the reverse of Ace of Swords, the reverse of Seven of Cups, your mid card, the star, which is you, the reverse Eight of Wands, and the reverse Death card. Wow. Ooh, a lot of darkness. Okay, a lot of darkness, Aquarius. So you could be dealing with another air sign, um, such as Libra, Gemini, or another Aquarius. I highly doubt it, but it is possible. I'm seeing right now a lot of conflict has been going on. I'm seeing a lot of arguments, probably just not you and this person, or a few people are not resonating with each other. You're not on the same page. I'm seeing a lot of misguided um, energy flowing between you and this particular person Aquarius okay and a lot and it has to do with communication this is why the ace of swords is in reverse and this can be someone new in life as well or not necessarily new but a new person that has came into your life okay now with the seven of cups okay I'm seeing that what this card represents is that you feel like you don't have a lot of options Okay, you don't have a lot of options. There's not a lot of opportunities. I'm seeing that energy and that could be the reason why you're having this reversal of the Ace of Swords is because you're, you're not feeling there's a lot of um, ways to resolve a situation. Okay. However, with the Star Core, this card being your core core, your mid core, your energy is wrapped up around yourself, Aquarius. Okay. And what that means is the focus is on yourself for this month or this upcoming weeks. Also, I'm seeing there's a lot of hope. So whatever situation you feel as if there's not a lot of opportunities or solution for, I'm seeing that if you align with hope, it will star card. It is your energy, okay? New ideas, okay? And I'm seeing you can be, you know, going into your shell or just taking a step back. Now, this card corresponds with the Ace of Wands, I mean, the Ace of Swords in reverse because the Eight of Wands basically telling you the same shit. Like, there's some bad communications, there's going to be some travel, some unexpected travels or delays. Um, I'm seeing, like I said, you and your partner or whoever this energy re resonates with are going to have some, you know, conflicts or some disagreements. I do see that, but like I said, your store. Your star car, which is the store, <laughs> okay, and which is your car car has hope. So align with that hope. I'm seeing that is going to be very critical for this upcoming weeks and month. Now the death car also can represent that you're dealing with a Scorpio. Also, it's in reverse. So I'm feeling like you're kind of feeling stuck or you're not letting a situation go. Okay, some some type of situation has to let be resolved or if you have to forgive or move forward in order for this energy to be in reverse okay death is a great thing when it comes to new beginnings because for you to have one something has to die something has to be the end so i'm seeing that you're preventing that shit <laughs> through communication it only takes communication what i'm seeing um, for you the key to your reading right now is communication will resolve it all. That's what I'm seeing. Communication will resolve it all. Let's get some more clarification on these cards for you, Aquarius, okay? Now, for the Ace of Swords, we have the Death card. Again, damn, you must be dealing. That's crazy because it's your end card and your beginning card, okay? It's your end card and it's your beginning card. One's upright, one is... um. <laughs> Reverse. So let's see. Your second card is the chariot. Mm. Your mid card. Let's see that. Your mid card is the king of pentacles. Your next is the reverse of nine of wands. Okay. Your last card is the page of pentacles. 
Okay, so like I said, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or you could be dealing with a Cancer, okay? Two water signs. Okay, I do see that energy. Now for the death to represent the Ace of Swords, I'm seeing that you need a new approach when it comes to your communication, Aquarius. However you're communicating with someone, you have to have a whole new approach, especially in order to get to your alignment. A whole new approach. If a certain situation or relationship with someone is not as what you want or what you expect, the only way to resolve that is to change the way you approach them and to change what you say to them and how you say it. Now for the chariot to represent the reversal of the seven of cups, I'm seeing with this, like I said, you can be dealing with a cancer. But with this means, in order for you to move forward, you're going to have to make some decisions. There can't be a lot of open doors and you expect to keep yourself warm. Okay? There can't be a lot of open doors if you expect to be warm. Because all that air and all the shit is going to flow out everywhere. You need to focus. You need to make a decision. You need to ride on that decision, Aquarius. Now, for your... Um, star card to represent the king of pentacles i'm saying you have a lot of hard work you're doing you're putting in that work can be school business career work you're putting in that work and i'm seeing this can leave you sometimes feeling unfulfilled or feeling things are not going to work out and what this card tells you that it is going to work out just keep that hope and just keep working hard it is all going to work out for you okay make that decision and it's all going to work out now for your eight of wands in reverse, you have the nine of wands in reverse. So I'm seeing, you know, a lot of shit had was heavy on you, okay? And you just don't have time for the silly shit anymore. So you're just coming across very blunt, cold, or, you know, making shit harder <laughs> for yourself or other people than it has to just because you you felt so much pressure. Now that that pressure is being alleviated because you're starting to feel that hope energy. And like I said, this could be subconscious. Or conscious, you're starting a lot, a lot, a lot of things go down. Okay, I'm seeing there's a certain situation that you probably did change your communication, or you just cut them out. Period. I'm also seeing that you could have just cut this certain person or this certain situation out your life. Period, and had a new transformation. And now you're, you know, you're finally relieved. The shit is over. Okay, and then I'm seeing for the page of Pentacles, I'm seeing right now you're stuck on your money. Okay, you're stuck on trying to fulfill your career and your dreams. Okay, well, Page of Pentacles, that means someone is bringing you something stable. This could be an offer of love or offer of, or offer of job opportunity, I'm seeing as well. But you're in, a, you're in a stagnant mode of perspective in order to fully take control of this offer that's being um, brought to you. Like I said, new business opportunities, um, a new stable partner. You can have someone that's like... You know, Aquarius, I'm I'm ready for you. Like, I'm ready for you. You're just like, mm, I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of busy or I got a lot of other shit going on. Okay. Let's see what your card is for your final outcome for this month, Aquarius. Okay. So, I'm seeing we have the King of Wands. Okay. So, you could be dealing with the Aries, I mean, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, um, Sagittarius. And I'm seeing yet yeah, the Page of Cups, another water sign. So I'm seeing these two cards are opposite. So it just depends on how you have your energy, that hope. Are you gonna have are you gonna align with it or not? For the King of Wands, I'm seeing that the King of Wands is someone who is very energetic. They have a lot of energy, they're very creative, they're very passionate, okay. I'm seeing that, that type of energy is also for you. Now with that energy. That means you're going to have to take control of any situation or any decision that you have to and come with it with full tenacity and full focus, okay? It will blossom. It will allow you to be fulfilled with this page of cups upright. What that means is that your, your love relationship is going to be strong, especially if you align with that hope, which is your center card. Everything is going to align beautifully for you. Aquarius, you're being offered love, you're being offered hope, and if you align with that, it's going to manifest for you, okay? Now, if this reading resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.